So some of the biggest news that has been coming out of Chicago is this paperwork that's been dropping about the duck murder. Right. About the O-Block 5. And the feds are releasing a lot of the evidence that they have. They have a lot of witnesses or cooperators. Yeah. They have a lot of evidence. I think we've been been misled about some of the evidence. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. they said they got video footage, but now we're hearing it might not be that good of video footage to identify right. people. Facts. You know, Cam, I was one of the first guys to study FBG duck case, you know. Um, it was a lot of people on this case, too, but I was one of the first people. I went to the crime scene. Uh, I went to the first store that he went to. You know, we're going we gonna to break it down. We're going to start. We're going to kind of start a little bit. You know, when you look at the paperwork, it came out. But then at this point, it's a lot of that paperwork that's been sealed up. Like a lot of those guys that filed motions to get a lot of that paperwork sealed up and shit like that. You know what I'm saying, Cam? So when I look at that, it's a lot of things that came out that's not going to be able to be used in a trial because they lawyers was able to get those motions sealed and shit like that. You know, but when you look at the paperwork, like what you want to know first, Cam? Because I studied this shit. I got the paperwork with me right now, too. Okay, uh, where do we start, man? Let's start off. Well, what's what's the first important thing in the paperwork? The first important thing in the paperwork is Duck was in a store called Milano's uh, downtown, uh, you know what I'm saying, the Gold Coast community. He was in a store and just randomly out the fucking blue, randomly out the blue, a uh, op seen him in the store, walks up in the store, allegedly, this is what the feds alleging, a guy named Teasy, Tall Teasy. Uh, the feds claim Duck actually had a relationship with his kid mother. Uh, and according to the paperwork, he didn't really like Duck. He felt like Duck was around his shorty, all kind of shit. He didn't like Duck. He had a problem with Duck. Uh, when you look at the paperwork, you can clearly tell Duck knew about him. Uh, now, according to the paperwork, while he in the store with Duck, he walks in the store. Duck walks in, Milano's first, uh, Teasy walks in there next with somebody else. Him and Teasy walks in there. He sees Duck. So, so Teasy wasn't by himself? No, Teasy with somebody else. This is where the story get deep because the person he was with who walked in the store haven't been charged with a crime, haven't been linked in the paperwork. Uh, that name don't come up no more. It just says that he walks in with somebody else they noticed Duck. Now, was it an argument, a confrontation? I'm not sure. But according to Mama Duck interview, she said Duck was arguing with some fans or some shit like that. You know, uh, that's according to the interview that she had. You know, and I hate talking about her son so much like this, you know. I know this shit irritate her, but, you know, being a street reporter, it's my job to document this case. Uh, but it say, though, Kim, it say TZ walked in there, his ass see Duck. Now, I guess he on some low-key shit, hop on the phone and make a phone call and call somebody, you know, hey, 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 y'all got D-Thing number. Now, the feds say that D-Thing is the brother of a prominent black disciple member. You know, the streets say that D-Thing is Lil Dirk's brother, okay? Uh, I can't see that in the paperwork. I don't see Lil Dirk. Uh, brother in the paperwork, but it says he's looking for D-Thang and he the brother of a prominent, you know, black disciple member. So this shit get deep, right, Cam? Now, he make the calls. According to the paperwork, he leave out the store a fake move like he gone. He leave, you know. Duck leaves out the store. Duck rides around the block and come back on the same block, but he goes five stores down to Dose Cabana. Now, what Duck don't know, he clueless. Duck clueless. Duck had no idea this is happening. While he's standing in line at Dose Cabana, you know it's the pandemic. You got to stand in the pandemic line. They only letting three people in. So you know how they let you stand in the line. They let three people in. You got to wait till them three people come out, and they let three more people in and shit, right? So he's standing in the pandemic line. He don't have no idea that the feds alleged TZ ran across the street in the Montclair store, and he called some guys up, and he dropped Duck Low to allegedly Muwap and a few more guys inside of O-Block. This is what the feds are last, because they claim they got these surveillance footage and shit right, Cam. So that's the first thing is Duck was inside the store. He had no idea that it was Gummins on his way to come and get the blicking and shit, you know? 
He buying some shit for his son, taking care of his baby, doing some shit for to celebrate their birthday. He doing some regular life shit in one of the safest parts in Chicago. All alone, the feds are legend. It's five gunmen riding down the car on their way to go. You know what I'm saying, Kim? Yeah. Yep. Mm. Uh, and and they say, where, what does TZ do when they show up? This is what they say. This is where it get deep. They say TZ walks in the Montclair store. Now, I guess he seen Doug. You know, he geek. He got the energy. Hey, I just seen this nigga. His ass up in the store. Hey, hey, he up in there, bro. He up in there. Man, he up in there. Y'all hurry up and come. Y'all hurry up and come. Do what the feds are He acting erratic. He acting crazy to the point a security guy pulls out his phone and get to filming them because he just walks in the store. He not buying them. He walks in the store and stands in front of the store door looking out the window and shit. He looking out the window and shit, Cam. He looking out the window and shit. Like, you know, he I crazy. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. So a security guy films him, okay? You feel me? This shit get deep. Um, they say while Duck was getting shot and killed, Teezy was across the street watching the whole thing. According to the paperwork. Remember, the feds says this. This is not my words. Uh, they said it just happened. The feds also says that he actually walked a little closer to look at him and see and look at him and shit like that. Now, this actually get deeper, though, Kim, because now, as we can see, guys are getting arrested. OK, Kim? What's up? This is Cam Capone. We got more content like this coming soon. So hit that like button, subscribe, and stay locked in to Cam Capone News.